kicking. It's Audrey again. I know you're probably all getting sick of me by now. Um, I thought I would get on here and um, do a separate video all about hair. And if you guys have followed me along over the years, uh, you know that I struggle with thinning hair and then I my scalp was burnt many years ago and I was blonde and I, I, I went in and had them touch up the roots and they left on the bleach too long. It burnt my scalp so it will never grow back. Um, and that was over a decade ago. Um, and then uh, as a result of last year's DIY hair extensions glue in, I, without trying, ripped out a bunch of my own hair and it was so thin. And I'd already lost a lot of hair from my weight loss. So it was so thin we had to cut it short. It was, um, you know, I'll link a couple of those videos up here so you can see what I went through and when I got my hair cut and, and it was so short, so baby thin. Um, I mean, I hardly had any hair left. So I was on a mission to grow my hair back. And I think it's going well. And um, so I think I got the big chop probably in January, February of this year. So it will be um, eight, nine or 10 months now that I've been working on trying to thicken my hair and grow my hair. Now the length of it is growing, but that's the slowest part. Um, but the thickening, uh, forgive me if this, I have a light and it's kind of flickering, so I may just turn it off here in a minute. Um, anyway, I just wanted to get on here and tell you what I'm doing and how it's working. So if anyone wants to um, f either f grow their hair, thicken their hair, or make it appear thicker, those are the three things that I'm addressing today. And I've gone through a series of different products, um, some that I've already um, listed as well that work pretty well, and I'll, I'll list that video as well. But this is updated, and this is something current and something that really makes my hair feel... I know it's thicker. It's not just feeling thicker. It is thicker because it's grown back. Um, so I'm going to just kind of show you a little bit. It is so much thicker, so much thicker now than when it was a few months ago. I mean, it was, you could see through the ends, it was so thin. And, um, you know, you've probably seen it get thicker over the months, but um, it has definitely gotten thicker and um, a lot more hair and it is growing. I mean, I'll get long hair again, but uh, it's a slow process, but I decided not to mess around with adding extensions, even professionally, even though I still debate on it once in a while because I'm just, you know, very impatient when it comes to those things. But my hair is in really good condition, so I'm going to share with you what I'm using. Okay. Uh, number one thing that I've been not consistent with, I will just admit that right out of the bat, but I know that I'm still using it, I, but I only wash my hair two or three times a week, and I don't like putting it on when I haven't washed my hair. So um, this is, you know, the traditional Minoxidil for women, in the, um, I think 0.5% probably, or the 0.2%, whichever the one is for women. It's, it is, this is Pantene Expert, but it doesn't matter which brand you get, as long as you get it made for women and it's the correct dosage of uh, minoxidil, which is, you know, the only thing we know that it's supposed to grow hair. Now, I use it up on my scalp. I'm not seeing any growth on my scalp, but I think that may have helped the rest of my hair grow. Um, on the rest of my scalp so I keep using it you know but I only use it two or three times a week and you're supposed to use it twice a day I believe so if I did it twice a day it might have more effect um, but I think I burnt those follicles so this may not even work um, but anyway that's the, the number one thing that I do and then I got a couple of little secrets uh, one that I found just by Mr. Google uh, as something that um, Oh, well, let me, let me, yes, let's go to this. Mr. Google, uh, two things. One, I got a review on this, so I, I, I got a sample of it, which is really, or a small thing. It's Pantene Expert Age Defy. Now, I'm normally not a Pantene girl, because all the um, hairstylists tell you not to use Pantene, because it leaves a coating on your hair. At least that's what they say. I don't know if that's true or not. But I gave this a try, and it addresses the aging hair. And I do believe that it makes your hair feel and look fuller. 
Now it may be that that's coating my hair, I don't know, but whatever, it, it feels good, it works, I like the feel of it um, after I use it. Um, my hair definitely feels, it has grown back, the thickness has grown back, the length is slow, but this one works pretty well at giving you that fullness effect. Um, then I am doing something different for conditioner and it is really out of the box here, um, but there was a lot of reviews of this on um, Google and different, you know, kind of found it through the rabbit hole as it were. And this is, <laughs> you're gonna laugh, Megatech Rebuilder Mains, Tails and Hooves. Yes, I ordered this. Um, it's really a thickening, oh, this stuff is, it's cruelty free by the way, if you're interested. Um, it's not cheap, but I ordered it and I really, really think it helps make my hair feel good. You leave it on for like five minutes. I think it thickens the actual shaft of your hair. Um, and this is of course meant for horses, but when women have been using it, people have been using it with great success. Or at least that's what I found. Um, again, this is all individual, and um, I think, even though I do have frizzy hair, I think that it's helped with the shine of my hair. I think it's made it shinier, um, generally speaking, and uh, I, I really like that, and I use that every time as a conditioning treatment. Now, I do use leave-in conditioners um, because I just have such frizzy hair, and I also want to amp it up. Um, afterwards before I blow dry it or style it or whatever it is I'm doing and I got this um, Ren Pure coconut whipped cream leave-in conditioner I got this I believe it was at TJ Maxx and oh this stuff smells so good it is delicious it's really thick and uh, it was only $6.99 and is normally $10 it just I love this. This smooths my hair out. It's got essential oils in it. It's got, let's see, conditioning oils, vitamins for the hair, cuticle area. Um, just, it's got all sorts of things. It's shiny, frizz-free surface, zero sodium, chloride, sulfates, dyes, harsh salts, parabens, or gluten. So um, if you're interested in that, I got it at TJ Maxx, but I'm sure you can find it online somewhere. I love it. I absolutely love it. And what my routine is, after I uh, towel dry, I put in one pump of this or about a half a pump of this. It, it's it's pretty thick. You know, it doesn't take a lot. Um, I might even take that. I, sometimes I will even do that after I've dried it, just on the very ends to keep it from getting so frizzy. And it's just, you know, you're supposed to put it before, but sometimes it helps just a tiny bit to get rid of that frizz and add the shine and all that. So I always have some, unless I curl it or something. But anyway, smells delicious. I love it. I take that and I mix it with um, a few drops or a half a pump of Fructis Sleek and Shine Anti-Frizz Serum. You can use frizzies or whatever it is you want. And this came with my uh, little shampoo here. This is an age uh, defy, uh, I believe it's like a thickening serum. It says, um, yep, thickening, advanced thickening serum. So I take a pump of that uh, and put, put it all together and run it through my hair before I dry it. And I'm telling you, I definitely feel like it's much thicker. I mean, there's a lot more to my hair now and um, gradually we'll get the length, you know, a little bit at a time. And if you see, you know, I might link an older video and you can see when I first got it cut till now and you can see that it has grown. Um, it will be slow. I just trimmed myself. I trimmed the, the um, layers and, the, and just, you know, just the tiniest little bit and to keep it, you know, uh, some of it from frizz, you know, split ends and all that kind of stuff. So that is my routine right now for my hair. And uh, thumbs up if you think it's <laughs> it's growing and looking better now and thicker because, you know, I went through quite a hard time with, you know, women don't like to lose their hair. So um, the big thing is the Megatech. Um, I will see if I can find a link for this uh, where I bought it. Um, if you can find it somewhere cheaper, obviously that's a great thing to do. Read it before you do it. This is cruelty free. Um, find out, you know, it's clearly not made for w 
humans initially, but it doesn't hurt humans, and women have said it helps their hair grow. That's why I use it, because it strengthens and helps it grow. So uh, I'm using that. <laughs> and then this one, this is my second favorite right now, is the Coconut Whipped Cream Leave-In Conditioner. These are my two bombshells right here, and I love it, um, and I think it's working. So um, then, you know, you can add whatever you want. This may work for you if you haven't had it um, scarred tissue on top or burnt because that's what happened to me was chemical burn so I may not ever get that back I find ways to hide it but there's that age defy it's a pretty good shampoo uh, make definitely makes it feel thicker and um, this little thing to add to your um, after um, towel drying treatment this is pretty good for thickening it up so anyway today is just kind of a stay at home day doing laundry and do nothing else uh, for those of you who care I did Skype I've been Skyping my daughter uh, since she went to um, Job Corps and we're you know she's doing great she's made a friend things are clicking so I'm really happy so thank you for support there my mom is doing well thank you for all your prayers your kind words and your support and I will keep you posted um, and you know, the scale is moving again. So next week we should have a, a good report on my HCG. This is all about hair, ladies. I think it's working. It's thickening up. It's feeling good. And uh, so check out those products. I'll link them below. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time. Love you all, and peace.